website. We'll definitely also share that with the bartending community. Oh, read I say, a woman after my heart. She just said whiskey, particularly Johnny Walker. So, by the way, Eugene, um, are we gonna have a session on whiskey? Because I feel like we have a lot of whiskey fans as well. Yeah, we should. But guess what my favorite portfolio product is in your in your in the line. I know please this is not anything. <laughs> Come on. What? Um Johnny Walker? Uh Don Julio. No way. Yeah. That is amazing. And that's a good choice because Don Julio is luxury tequila. We we should actually have a session. How about we have more sessions with um, I can actually also handle um so we can have a session with you. I'm i can't sure hear you i can't hear you your voice has gone down i don't know what i should do i'm so, I'm so sorry about that is this better now yeah you're saying something i was saying sorry yeah. i think for we can have another session for for whiskey because i feel like people will also have a lot of questions on whiskey as well but that's a story for another day yeah we can do that and wave then do... if you'd like a session on whiskey for the guys that are, that are online and if you like a session on um, mezcal or tequila i mean I could, I could talk about it for days i do not doubt it <laughs> i mean tequila is beautiful like it's it's a it's a drink of the gods <laughs> Yeah, and I think what I love about tequila, which we'll have in another session, is the story behind Don Julio. Oh, Masai, Brian, Telefan, Tele confirmed that they would like a whiskey session. We gotta give the, the crowd what they want, Eugene. So yes, do you wanna do you wanna do that tomorrow? We could do that tomorrow. Oh yeah, tomorrow. Um, what about the time? Guys, please confirm whether you prefer like a morning session, like what we had today, or in the evening, maybe let's say from 6, 6 p.m. What, what works we better? Could do, my, my suggestion is we could do scotch, scotch in the morning and then do Irish in the evening. How about that? How about we just do one? one session um but we can always talk we can, we can always talk about it I'm open, I'm open, I'm open. because i mean it's it's such a huge it's such a huge category and then i wouldn't want to jumble the guys up like i need them to understand what's the difference between scotch and uh irish so given the session we could just do scotch because think about all oh, that you guys need to learn it's like an entire 45 one hour class so that would be good okay Cool. Plus, I'm, you can I'm give them an assignment. That. Yeah, so we can give them an assignment. Go and research about Scotch whiskey, and if they have any questions, yeah. Oh yeah, that would be fun so that you can also join in on the conversation. Would be really good to hear your thoughts. Um, we have eight minutes to go. So Brian, thank you so much for all your contributions to Natasha, to Susan Collar, to I saw why they all joined. Thank you so much. Um. Do you have anything to close off with, Eugene, before we we finish the the live call? This this was amazing. Thanks for the guys who joined, and uh, for the guys out there, if you love tequila, I would recommend you guys try a Don Julio 1942, which is a rare bottle, by the way, but its story is exceptional. <laughs> okay, so while on that, I will recommend brands that are easily available in our market. <laughs> I mean, we, we know you have a, you have fancy connects all around the world, but to the rest of us, <laughs> um, okay. we have no. three variants okay, for Don Julio. Um, Blanco, uh, Reposado, and Añejo. I will post them about it, and Eugene will also post them about it. Um, from me, it's a big thank you to you guys that made time to join. I hope you have learned something new or you just enjoyed being online with us. Yeah. I see you guys are still joining now. I'm so sorry, but we were about to finish. Okay. So maybe I can close off by throwing us back into history about 
something called Dutch courage. Have you ever heard about something called Dutch courage, Eugene? Yes, something that, um, yeah, it's more or less what the soldiers used to take to get the courage back. And yes, that was a you want to tell us the me. story or should I? Uh, so the story behind it was that the soldiers were Sorry, more... Sorry, Eugene, so the side that you've put your, your phone, it's, it faces the light so we cannot see your face. Do you want to just... Okay, fine. Yes, so, yeah. much better. The, the, story, the story behind it is the soldiers were in war and they needed to not lose their courage. So the captains or the generals decided a bit of, you know, something to cheer up their spirits. So some people believe it was rum, some people believe it was gin. But the story goes is that once they took it, they had some, yeah, some courage. <laughs> Okay, well, the version that I have is a bit more detailed. So this is how it works. Um, back in the day when the world was at war, the British soldiers were, of course, well-equipped, well-trained, so they would always beat the Dutch soldiers when they went to war. So remember I mentioned that gin was initially used as medicine to treat malaria, because yes. imagine these soldiers are living in harsh so they're getting sick and whatnot. But then some smart soldier discovered if they take a pill or gin, they become calm and happy, because, which is now what we call being um, a bit tipsy. So it obviously didn't work. On this one time that the British soldiers came to invade uh, Dutch, uh, the Dutch in their own land, they happened to find them in a state of being drunk from gin. So, first of all, let's just pause there. By the time someone is coming to invade you in your own home, they have a lot of confidence because they know they can keep your behind, yeah. right? Yeah. But what happened is, because the Dutch soldiers were quite high from the gin that they've been taking, they fought the British soldiers with so much vigor and threw them out of their land. Mm -hmm. So, of course, the British so soldiers were, were a bit surprised and wondering, how come how comes these guys uh, fought with so much courage, so much vigor? They were, they were very courageous on this one time to a point where they even kicked us out of their land, only to discover something that was called gin. Okay. So that is where the name Dutch courage comes from. There you have it. So, fun fact before guys go, Jean used to make people crazy. <laughs> Back in the day. <laughs> so most people will be scared if they hear about the stories. It was like dark horror stories about Jean in London, and um, which explains why Jean is always a preferred spirit for the crazy people. But now, you know, we have elegant Jean that's coming out, Chankari and all this other it's now become more refined and more opulent. So, yeah. I hope you guys are going to okay. have a okay. yeah. Well, my closing remarks is as much as we are trying to get you guys to try more gin recipes, please remember to drink responsibly. Do not drink yes, and by drive. The way. Um, space your drinks with water in between uh, rounds. Also, eat before you drink. And remember Do to not exercise. Try to drink alcohol on an empty stomach. Remember, remember, guys, you need to exercise. Yeah, I think for me, I, I I tell guys you need to exercise, practice yoga, or I don't know aerobic exercise. I don't know what you you prefer. I prefer yoga because it it keeps my mind calm. You know. Okay. I've always wanted to join yoga, but I just never got around to do it. But I do love. Yoga. I'm challenging you. Come on. How can you not be doing yoga? Come on. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think that's our time. Thank you so much for having me, Eugene. I really enjoyed it. I, I really enjoyed this. I actually also learned from this session. So thank you so much. And looking forward to more of these sessions. Yeah. We're ending and guys are, are, are coming in. Okay, fine. Guys, for any more conversation, we'll catch this up tomorrow. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye bye, take care. <laughs>
So yeah, guys, thanks so much for joining in the conversation. I'm sorry we have this one hour Instagram live thing. Remember, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. So tomorrow,